Welcome guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're in the parish Trelawney in Albert Town, where we will be visiting a river called Kwashi River Sink. Now I didn't want to come to this river one off, but then again, I don't know where the river is. So I linked up with a local who is very familiar with the place and he's gonna give us some insights of the river, the history behind it all, and basically the full tour of everything. I'm super excited because I always wanted to come here and I'm finally here. So just sit back, relax, cause it's gonna be an adventure and also history. So come on. Sent me. You know, no man, girl, a real killer. Peanut, me drink. What <laughs> Good girl, yeah. Send her back a plane now. <laughs> you know, boss, send me in at a beer. Send back a plane for the boy. Look for the new side. Okay, I'm lucky. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Oh, Blacky. Wow. Road block? Mm -hmm. No fear of road. So you know about Yaman and them things there? Eh? Yeah. Tell me more. Yeah. So, all right. So, technically, we are in, we are literally in cockpit country. Mm -hmm. We are in South Trelawney, to be exact, in a community called Freeman's Hall, mm -hmm. in the parish of Trelawney. We are in South Trelawney. So you see the yam, this is, uh, this one, this one looks like it has been harvested out already for the most part. So this is yellow yam to be exact, see, which is a species of yam so because they have many different species of yam too. So this is yellow yam. This is the, the, the main crop in South Chilean. It's what drives the economy of the South. Okay. So like pretty much every other person you pass along the street is a yam farmer or mm -hmm. they have something to do with yam farming whether it's directly or indirectly because it builds the house by the cars and it, it produces a level of independence amongst oh, people. Yeah, so within. a lot of them coming up. Yes, so it creates, we have our own product so it creates a level of independence amongst us that is a little bit different from the rest of the island. <laughs> so, so, so the culture is, is different. It, it, in this area and and, you, and different different aspect of it so but this helps us to create that kind of financial stability to an extent but it's a tuber so it grows pretty much literally down into the soil the head of the yam is placed in the hill so there used to be a bigger mound than this so it takes nine months to a year before it's fully ready and developed to be harvested out because there was a yam festival yeah. that has been held in so it used to be yam held in ice so cream Chilani, i would so. try that yeah. So this is a yam head. So the yam that was brought to the market uh, mm -hmm. on the dinner table right here in in the hills or all the way to a, all the way abroad. In terms of the humidity? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I said cockpit countries, in some areas in cockpit country enjoys like a hundred percent humidity and humidity is pretty much the moisture in the air so ah. as, you, as you move through as you go further down if you notice that the, even it's fresher the, and i smell fresh air most definitely good observation Woo. no long i don't do this yes <laughs> <laughs> so and so we have a lot of different species of ferns in coffee country. We have over 500 different species of ferns in coffee country. Over 500? Over 500 different species of ferns. We have snake. We have a snake that is called a yellow boar. In snake. Over here? Yes, that is endemic to Jamaica. Mm. You can find it in, in so, coffee country. So you ever see one? Yeah. Here? One. Right yeah, here? One. Not right here, okay. but yes, I've seen it. Sometimes in people homes in the houses too as well. In their homes, okay. Yes. <laughs> mm -mm. 
Yes, the pumping system was set up there. So this was what they used to what? bring down the pump. Oh. Okay. So, like, the pump is a massive pump. So mm -hmm. you could have, you're gonna get a chance to see like the, the, what is left of it. Oh, it's down there? Yes, what is left of it is down there. So this was used to swing it across. Mm -hmm. I'm just stop looking right here. I'm going to give you a chance to look through as well. Okay. All right. So when you come in here to look, I'm going to ask that you pretty much if you, you just don't go too far. All right, we're going that way, guys. We are in Freeman's Hall, and Freeman's Hall is the first free village in South Trelawney. Mm-hmm. Within this area, you know, so. Even Albertown. It's on the land of free, free on, it's on the Freeman's Hall property. And it's the home of the Maroons, we said? Yes, definitely the home of Maroons, you know. I'm a Maroon. Okay. As most of us are, you know. Facts. <laughs> You're right. Most of us are Maroons. This is what the Maroons use, you know. Trails. What? They use the trails? Yes, man. Get to get from one place to the next, you know. I love to see them back in the day. So like imagine Jamaica had, had one of the richest cities in the world mm -hmm. in time. That is, if you try to wrap your head around that, that kind of crazy to think that True. a small island of Jamaica, like Jamaica, was once had one of the richest cities in the world. So you can just imagine what kind of commerce or what kind of business or what kind of trafficking would be taking place within that time. So Jamaica is not just like a one. Why are you thinking much out of many white people? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, is that a little small thing? So. Going down again? Yes, we're going, this is where we're going down. So if you look into the pipeline, to how they look at these kind of... Oh, there's a pipeline. Right. So the pipe, this is the pipe that leads to the... Yes, all the way down to the pump. Okay. So this system, if this system was working, we wouldn't have any water issue in South Chilean. So this is pretty much limestone. If you look at it, all white limestone. So, mm -hmm. so just imagine all of this at some point in time, all of this was a flat area. Uh, over a period of time because the primary element to make up limestone is called calcium carbonate but that yeah. easily eroded by carbonic acid mm -hmm. so carbonic acid from the rainfall is through the calcium carbonate of the limestone and that is what creates all of this landscape that you're looking at all of that was created from just the weathering process over a period of time so most of our water flows underground through aquifers so you're going to get a chance to see a natural and active aquifer and how the water okay. flows underground I know water from all different sections come to a central point to create like a system. So mostly water in cockpit country, like 40% of Jamaica's groundwater yeah. is from cockpit country. Oh, okay. Didn't know so that. this is pretty much the, when, when I say the lifeline of Jamaica, it's literally the lifeline of Jamaica. When it comes to, you know, water is more valuable than anything mm -hmm. else in the world. So this is, and this is, these are some of the things that we're trying to protect and to preserve, you know? Oh, these are the ladder. <laughs> yes. This is the ladder. We are sliding my slide on the other one? Yeah. So I slide, we're gonna slide? Yes. Slide, you have a slide, slide, slide good up. Why? Yes, the media must slide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this slide good up, man. You can't slide. Oh my good gosh. Up. Oh, I'm nervous. Slippery or free? Yeah. Rolling. Yo. Yeah. Huh? 
Yeah. Hold on. Take your time. Hand on the ground. Yeah, man. Don't be afraid to put your hand on. Put your hand on the ground. Okay. Slowly. Yeah, man. Make sure one foot is firmly planted before you move the other. All right. Yeah. Uh, just put your arm up, you know. And you decide your face when you come down, man. Yeah, man. You have to slide, man. Closer. Don't nurse it. Just, you know? All right, so you get on from there. You're crazy. Go on, though. <laughs> you're Lulu. All right, take your time. Come down now. Just like that. Come down, man. Come down. You're almost ready. Almost ready. Come down. Come down. Come down. Almost. Ah, look how that easy. I just came down a pole to get to a river. Yes. <laughs> uh, so let me see if we can see. Mm, uh, I think that's somewhere. I'm going to try to look if we can see which part there. I think I'm going to show you where they swing the pole come down. Oh, they side. swing a pole? Where is uh, it? No, they swing, they swing the, the, the pump. Oh, the pump. The pump, the pump. Oh Lord, we're here. Finally. So it's not just the height to get here, you see? <laughs> Is there where the pump was? That's where the pump was? Yes. Oh, okay. Look at a nice one. This is the Kwashi River scene. Yes! Good day, man. Bomba, this nice. Yeah, me go ya so. We come back river. This yeah. is the little spot, you know. It's nice, man. Bomba, go ya so. Here, you don't know how deep this is. No. Okay, I'm gonna try. And see how deep it is. water flows into the cave. Alright guys, we're heading to the cave now. That me want to see. Ooh. Beautiful thing is you see the, the river already. Beautiful. We're going to come back after we visit the cave. Now we're going to probably cook. I will a vibe. Oh nice. We're going down here. All right, sorry. It's, it's, it's surface can it's kind of sandy, see? But literally, I forgot slide. We're gonna be sliding. Okay. Let us take your time. So, <laughs> and watch this, watch this here. Hand across here, sir. Take your time slowly. Woo! Yeah, just like that. <sighs> Okay. You have different sections, yeah. you have up there so you have down here so. Yes. Down here so mm -hmm. 
Feels like that all the way into the queue. Mm. Ready again? This part is your yeah, favorite this part? Is my favorite spot. Yo, this is nice. So we're going down there, yeah. right? But we just Oh yeah, this thick. We just kinda of detouring a little bit. So but we're going down there. <laughs> detour, we are detour, we are detour. Yeah. This is a nice spot. Oh, that feels so refreshing though. The water cool, but it look refreshing. Alright guys, so we made it down safely. It was a quick 10 minute hike. I thought it was going to be more. It, it felt so short. So yeah, I would, I would roughly say it was a 10-15 minute hike. And you know he gave us some insight of everything and you know the little history of everything down here it's a vibe we haven't gotten to the cave as yet we took a quick stop i don't know if you can see it it's so pretty i love the vibe of everything i hope you guys are enjoying the video as well Yeah man, like one hand, hand on the left, like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's nice. Uh, we are at the Quash River in here. Flashlight. Flashlight, guys. Um, waterfall there, waterfall there. Are we going down? Yes, we're going down. Hold on, you This is where I'm going to have to help you, alright? Hmm? This is where I'm going to have to help you. You're going to place one hand on my shoulder. Okay? And stay where? And you're going to come down with both legs. Okay? One hand on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. And then try to come down with one foot. Jump, come down. On side. No, no, don't jump. Let's come down. Sit. Try to sit here. Boy. Good time. Slowly. That's it. Alright, we're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Bats in here? Yes. Bats? Yeah, they do. Not bats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
At this point, we were just exploring inside the cave. All the noise you're hearing is the water which is flowing from the inside. What drinking? What you're seeing right here is called stalactites, which basically grows from the cave ceiling. And there's also stalagmites, which grows up from the cave floor. Now that's pretty cool. I learned something new today because I had no idea that was what it was. <sighs> okay. Diamonds. <laughs> huh? It does look like diamonds. Yeah, it does. It. Yo, look at that man. So pretty. Goal. Oh, we're dumping. Okay guys, that was an amazing dive. We did really need to cool off after them hike there. But now we're gonna just cook up some small little dish. Um, we have crayfish. I have crayfish here. Me and Raj catch crayfish the other day. So I'm gonna just cook it up right now. We have the basic seasoning. We have scallion, onion, thyme. We have pepper, garlic. You know, just the basic seasoning to, you know, do the dish. Pepper shrimp. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Real quick and fast. I think I like after three right now. Time flying up. But yeah, I'm just gonna wash these. The look at how they did nice, no lie. I'm just gonna prep these real quick. I wanted a light hike. You know, I never want nothing too major. So I'm gonna scare this. I'm just take it from mommy. <laughs> so she'll see it in my video. The onion.
And we're just going to set this aside because we're going to prep the crayfish. Check this out. Holy pinna. Have the claws here. Okay, we'll just do some quick thing, you know. Alright guys, so I'm going to start the fire. I have my portable stove here. Guys, this is to cover it. It cook faster. It's so keen, man. Wait for a couple more minutes. Let's do this real quick, guys. Mm -hmm. Done. Mm. Sweet as pineapple, I've had in a while. Bought some fried dumpling from home. And we have the crayfish. It was a quick and easy dish. It tastes really good. Mm hmm. I'm just gonna finish eat this and then go for a swim before I leave. This is a vibe.
Alright guys, if you see the end of the video, today was such an amazing vibe. We're high, we eat some food, we're all alive. It was a 